claiming Mr. Chilua had laundered money into a London account was brought by Zambian authorities to a British court. Zambian lawyers say that Mr. Chilua's presidential salary was $10,000 a year. He was able to spend $500,000 at a single boutique in Geneva. $10,000 a year. We're not talking about in quotes, we're talking about $10,000 in a year. Then how much does he get in a month? Probably less than a thousand. <laughs> Insane, eh? Upon hearing the evidence, Justice Peter Smith said Mr. Chiluba had plundered 46... Oh, oh, okay, 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 okay. We're not here for that. So he earned $10,800 a month to be specific. Oh, no, wait, a year? Oh, my go Oh, my gosh. He earned $10,800. Oh, he made a mistake. That's a month. I was surprised, ten thousand dollars a year. Hundred dollars a year, and then you should bear in mind that this was at the time when the quarter and the dollar were in the same WhatsApp group, so that exchange rate was really minimal. Moving on, Levi Patrick Mwanawasa. The BST is also called Levi. Get that right, subscribers. Monasa is credited for having initiated a campaign to get rid of the corruption situation in Zambia. In other words, Man, I miss him so much. This president was so dope, so good, so on point. <sighs> I can't express myself like I'm supposed to. One of the key things he's known for is his fight against corruption. In 2002, Gwembe United Party for National Development Member of Parley, this was before Bali was president of the UPND, questioned how the president was able. Hey, he's now the president. Whew, wow. Able to travel so much. And so, the then vice president, Eno Cavindelli, told parliament that the president earned a measly $7,000 a month. Unfortunately, I couldn't be bothered to check the exchange rates. <laughs> But it was probably in the range of 20,000 kwacha because $7,000 a year or a month. Yeah. The exchange rate at the time LPM was in office was about 1 to 3, more or less. When moving on, Rupia was any band. His name literally has like rupee, you know, that Indian currency. So it must have been. <laughs> oh man, why would you do that to Rupia? <laughs> Ah, uh, names, names of our countries sometimes are comedy. Making a lot, eh? Rupia Bozanibanda, the fourth president de la République. Oh, how I miss him. Don't you miss him? Comment down below if you miss Rupia Bozanibanda. I don't know, man. I don't know if I do. At the time he was in office, the House passed amended emolument bills that it took me so long to learn how to pronounce this word. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right anyway. At emolument. Get that right opinionated. At the time he was in office, the House passed amended emolument bills that sought to increase the allowances of the president, ministers, deputy ministers, and other constitutional office holders. But president at the time, Rupia Bozani Banda, sent them back. Imagine the emolument bills walking into Parley screaming, We are back. I don't even know why I did that. <laughs> RBI. Can't lie, man. Your editing is so sick. So good. Keep it up. As he's popularly known, wrote to the Speaker of the National Assembly on November 7th, 2008, asking Parliament to reconsider the bills as they were costly to the government in their old form. As part of the reasons for rejecting the increment were the facts that the state had spent a ton of money on the just past elections, as well as the funeral of His Excellency Levi. Patrick Mwanawasa. At the time he was leaving office, Mr. Rupia Banda earned a staggering one hundred and sixty-four thousand kwacha per year. Ish. That's actually less. What? One hundred and sixty-four thousand kwacha. Is it month? Is it a month or year? Sixteen thousand kwacha a month. Yo, the president. A year, sixteen thousand kwacha a month. He's barely got <laughs> proper salaries. <laughs> the president's oh, salaries have more. never really been high. Eh? Moving on, Michael Chilufiasata, popularly known as King Cobra, 
popularly known as man of action popularly known that i mean that i know him as this is popular according to zambian economists who were quoting the daily nation and me who's quoting the zambian quoting the daily nation and other sources of course not ketchup sources on october 15th 2013 mr manko chili salary was increased to 414,406 kwacha with a special allowance of 108,934 kwacha and this was sorry was pretty decent if that's how it was yeah man that's decent barely a year after his last salary increment which had which was in 2012 when he earned 327,000 kwacha annually so rb earned 164,120 kwacha and then michael chilufia sata raised it to 327 that's like does it mean when you, uh, this is pretty sick thinking does it mean when you're a president you increase your own salary whenever you feel like or what <laughs> double and then raised it again to 414,000 kwacha. The government at the time also increased the salaries of cabinet ministers, the vice president and all MPs and also other buoners. The minister of finance at the time was Mr. Alexander Chikwanda. In all honesty, I understand why I increased the salary more than once. I mean, the previous salary was really low like less than 16,000 a month for a president and even this man on Facebook whose name I don't know but you can read so after increasing his salary that's when he reaches 34,000 a month oh it's too little for a president boy. even if it's sacrificing yeah chill out more not even a vice chancellor at university funded by taxpayers money gets so little even management and now we have reached the president of the Republic of Zambia former president of the republic of zambia for the record the current president of course in case you're watching this uh, some years from now it's i'm watching it in the reign of kind september 2018 an article went round saying that le president de la république edgar chagualungu and other selected government officials had their salaries increased a statutory instrument signed by minister of finance at the time in case you're watching this 10 to 15 years from now Ms. margaret moanakatwe that increment meant his salary was going to be 40 is madness. <laughs> kwacha per month. Yeah, plus another day. That increment meant his salary was going to be forty thousand six hundred and fifty-three point two five kwacha per month, plus an allowance of ten thousand. Pretty decent. Thousand seven hundred and eighty-four point four one kwacha. The president was to receive 487,839,000 kwacha as an annual salary plus a special allowance of 129,413. <sighs> you guys know. In PF, if you're a president, you become so rich. I don't know how much this is going to give himself. These people, I believe, they give themselves salaries. I need to like this video for all these numbers I'm punching out better than Jacob Zuma. Okay, you know what? In all fairness to the presidents, their salaries have actually been low. Like, if if you think about it. And I thought, like, these were isolated cases. I think I was thinking uh, of the salaries, like, from 100,000 a month. I don't know if I was thinking too much. That's what was, I was, was in my mind. Because I felt like ministers were getting something like 60, 70, then presidents... Somewhere are supposed to be 100, they're supposed to be more than ministers. That's what I thought. He says, but apparently they weren't. Emmanuel Macron, the president de la République de France, earns 312,477.75 kwacha a month. This is kwacha, not, not like euro or pound or dollar. It's kwacha, so it's not much, even for him. And so. We've come to the end of our video, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new. I did enjoy and I subscribed to you, Piri. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. This was how much Zambian presidents get. Leave your thoughts in the comments. This is a reaction video. And subscribe to Opinionated Piri, the one who made this video. 
thank you so much link is in the description and peace